Are you in the market for a new swag? And do you want one that's gonna last you for a while? Check out this swag review. My name's Alex, and you're watching Intense. This is the Darchi Dusk to Dawn Double Swag. Uh, she comes in at 140 wide, weighs 15 kilos, and packed with two sleeping bags in it. Maybe sits between well, 40 centimeters, 40, 50 centimeters, somewhere in there. Um, immediately, before taking it out of the bag, the bag itself is worthy of a mention. High quality, made of the same canvas 420 GSM ripstop that the swag is. One of the deciding factors in buying this was all the toggle straps that hold this bag closed and that hold the swag all together inside have D-rings on them. So too many swags I've seen, my old swag, a couple of mates swags have those plastic clips, you clip them together and tighten them. Plastic clips flog out, snap pretty quick. You're not gonna do that with metal D-rings. Under here, got a nice big zipper, same zippers all through the swag, very thick, high quality. Uh, haven't broken any of them yet, so they're not messing around with zippers. Shall we get it unpacked? Get it set up, walk you through the features, tell you what I like, tell you what I don't like, um, point out any parts that I think might be an issue for you or things you might love. And there she is, 215 centimeters long, 80 centimeters high at your maximum head height, and three poles. The three pole design is one of the reasons I chose this swag, did not want any more than that. Unfortunately, because of its size, you couldn't get away with less really. You need a center pole here to give you the tension. The end poles, they actually have a bit of a curve in them already, so you're not straining them as hard as you try and set it up. Uh, on a lot of cheaper swags, I've seen these little black plastic clips broken. Hasn't happened on these in my year of use. And then you've got your center spreader bar, which you just stretch out and lock in. Nice and tight, sturdy, very easy. And a couple of bigger versions of these clips. Snap it over the top. Uh, 420 GSM ripstop canvas. The tension across the middle here as you can see, it sags a little bit. Um, you don't really get much better than that without getting more and more poles on there. But it's not too bad. I've got it pegged out at both ends, which really helps you keep that tension on it. I don't often bother, um, but the thing with having it pegged out is it does make the doors a little bit easier to open. So I'll open it up now and show you. You see, you can do it one-handed quite easily. If you haven't pegged it out, you get a little bit more play through the canvas and it bows a little bit. It can be a bit fiddlier. Inside the swag in daylight, oh, that sun's pretty hot. I'd be cooking if I was in there, but it stays pretty dark. I've had some mad sleep-ins. Got little toggles here where you can wrap it up, but if I'm just doing one side, I just throw it over like that. We've got the midgy proof mesh. I haven't had a problem with bugs yet. It's quite effective. I'll bring you in closer so you can uh, see and I'll show you through the inside of it and talk you through a bit more. It has a zip in the end here and the same zip in the other end. And I'll zip that down for you. Nice big window there. The same window on the other end so you can get some mad cross-flow ventilation. And this actually comes all the way down too. So you wouldn't use this as an entrance because you've got this big rainfly cover here. But uh, I don't know, maybe you want to pass some keys out to someone through the end there. You can zip that fly screen down. There's pockets in both ends, here, here, same on the other end. Just made out of canvas and the fly screen material, just to poke your keys and stuff in. And some more toggles inside to tie up your fly screen. So 
you're lying in here at night, you've got this big fly screen that you can stare at the sky, at the sky with. I have, oh, I flick sand all through it. I have only had them fully open on one night. Uh, it was a very hot summer's night, beautiful and cool. Um, the problem I had was a bushfire happened over the hill and all the ash swung around overnight. And ash is very fine. So it settled on the fly screen and came through and I woke up covered in dust. Um, inside, I keep my two sleeping bags at all times. And both of them, I keep them unzipped, fully rolled out. And I have no problem at all rolling the swag up with that bedding in it. Underneath that is a 50 mil high density foam mattress. Uh, it's got a removable cover on it, which you can wash. 50 mil is great for me. Um, I don't have a problem. I don't require 100% can't feel the ground comfort. Um, sometimes I feel a lump here and there. I'm okay with that. If you're one of those people that is particularly picky with mattresses, I believe you can order this same swag and upgrade the mattress to a 70 mil. Don't quote me on that, but I think you can. Now I chose this double model because I need to fit two people in from time to time. I do quite often use it by myself. Um, it's 140 wide, so it's double, but it's not a massive double. Like some of the super king size doubles, you're getting up to 150, 155 wide. Uh, this one's down at 140. What I ideally wanted was I figured that you wouldn't want to go much smaller than 130 wide for two people. And I didn't want to go too far over 140. You can fit it side to side in your car. It's not such a mission, it'll fit in your ute tray. Some of those bigger ones, you're really cramming the thing in diagonally. Pain in the backside. So waterproofedness. Very waterproof. I have owned this swag for a year, like I said. Um, I've taken it for two weeks across to Adelaide and back, slept in it in every night. I've slept in absolute torrential downpours. I've slept in light rain. I've got it wet a few times. I would say never a drop, but that's a lie because sometimes I have clambered into it while it was pouring rain, so it got wet when I opened it. Other than that, never a drop came in it. It's got the old uh, PVC bucket floor, pretty standard on most swags these days. Uh, nice, tough material, not gonna punch you, very waterproof. And one thing I forgot to mention about the side doors, get that fly mesh out the way. If you're really keen, you can actually set these up like a little awning. It's got a little ring in the corner. Uh, you can buy an optional pole kit, uh, $40. I'm not sure if that $40 includes two or four poles, but um, if you want, you can set it up like a little awning like that. So let's talk about the price and where it was designed. So Darchi is an Australian company and all of their swags and stuff are Australian design, but made in China. So I like to know where my stuff's coming from and I like to buy Australian made where possible. At least it's Australian owned and designed. So it's part the way there. As far as cost goes, uh, they retail, retail price is 560. You will easily pick one up for 460 and I think I paid 450. The reasons I think you'll love it is the canvas is nice and waterproof, stays dark in the morning. It's a simple three pole setup. I haven't snapped a single pole yet. I haven't broken anything on the swag yet. And those D-rings, oh mate, D-rings are the best. Uh, some of the reasons you might not like it. If you're particularly picky about tension, um, it sags a little bit here. You'll want a swag with more poles to eliminate that. Um, another reason you might not like it, as I said, 50 mil mattress could be too thin for some. And on the flip side of the D-rings, they're nice and tough, they're not gonna break. Um, but if your hands aren't quite cut out for it, and it might be a little bit hard on your hands to get those D-rings undone, they can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Otherwise, Darchi Dust to Dawn 1400, definitely perfect go-to for a simple double swag setup. All right, thanks for watching my review of the Darchi Dust to Dawn 1400. 
If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, click the thumbs down button twice. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.